Hello and welcome, Neil Ellis here from Tax TV. Uh, Dale, I've got you on today. Hi, you, mate. All right, pal. How are you? Uh, not too bad, a bit warm. It's picking up again with weather. Bank holiday weekend <laughs> coming up. So we'll have a brief touch on uh, Leeds. Um, obviously, I know there's been a lot being said, a lot been documented about it. <clears throat> but then we'll get on to Ipswich game because we've got a fair few games coming up next uh, week at all. So, yeah, yeah uh, you take on, you know, Leeds game from overnight, mate. <clears throat> uh, oh, where do we start, mate? Um, I, I, I'm I'm not going to say it was a poor performance. Hmm? I'm not I'm not going to say that. Um, I just think Leeds had more quality than us. Yeah. Um, and it and it showed. Um, do you think it was a good test for us players and managers as well to see yeah, where players are? To see to see where we are. Uh, physically, mentally, um, anything like that. Um, it was a good start, to be fair. First, first couple of minutes in, we, you know, we, we challenged their keeper. We, you know, we had a few shots on target, um, and then we just we just made some silly defensive mistakes and giving ball away easily, and don't didn't look really. Up, up for it for for 15 20 minutes and then when they scored um it that were a bit of a it were a bit of a killer to be fair um mm. and then it were one apiece that were it were a great uh great, great goal to be fair good uh, good delivery by Benson um met by Mads Anderson we're diving header so Sending keeper going other way to keeper. Um, that got you know that made it interesting for the last 10 minutes at half, hmm. and then for some for some reason, Callum Styles won a took took a penalty. Hmm. I mean, I don't know what your I don't know what everybody else's thoughts is on is on it, Neil. I'd I, I was I was at I was I was shocked, I was shocked. I, I questioned I, it because, yeah, go on, mate. Yeah. I think I think the most low confident player in our squad taking a penalty to make it two apiece when you've got the likes of Norwood, Cole, Benson, Luke Thomas. In my opinion, mate, I I went with a couple of mates of mine and I said to him. He's took that penalty to put a few more pound notes on his price tag, in my mm. opinion. Mm. And I think for me, he won it. He took it. I don't. I don't agree with that at all. I think you give it your best, your most informed player, your most confident player. How Callum Styles is our most confident player, I do not know. Um, I would. I would have gave it Benson, in my opinion. You know, his set mm. piece takings on point. He scored a few free kicks. He's, he's scored goals for us. I, I, I think, I think he's gone. I think he's gone against manager. I, I don't know what's happened. I think Mads Anderson sort of stepped in as captain. That's another captain mistake from him, in my opinion. I think he would. He should have said, "Look, tip, give it, give it somebody else." Or Michael Duff might have said to him, but I think he's gone against manager's word, in my opinion. We don't know. Well, apparently, he's been, th- Styles has been working on penalties in, in training. He's been putting them away, apparently. Yeah, but Neil, that's training. Mm-hmm. It's 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 not it's not leads away, is it? I, I mean, you get you get a, a, a striker. You get. I, I don't listen. If it weren't, if 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 it were a decent penalty, and keeper saved it. Then fair enough. I would have said I would have held my hands up. I would have said held my hands up and said fair enough. But it were a shit penalty. I'm sorry for sweat. I'm sorry, but it were a crap mm. penalty. It it, it it were a load of crap for me. That that's that Styles. He's not getting a move now. For that, why should Callum Styles get a move? It's in a penalty. I know there's, there might be nerves and stuff like that, but that. That's all on confidence and stuff like that. For me, I would I, it, it were wrong. 
for me for Callum Stiles to take that penalty. And then and then again in second half, referee, I don't know, I don't know, I didn't see highlights. I, I went to the game. For me, it looked like a penalty in the second half. It looked clearer than the first one, in my mm. opinion. Uh referee didn't get it. That were a bit of a of a of a confidence killer. Um and then the, the, and then that's that third goal. That I think it what were it the third goal? That third that third goal, Conor McCarthy, what are you doing? Dawdling. I've never seen so many players dawdle with ball in all my life. You've got Kitchen making his bloody Antonio Rudiger runs from defence up to attack. What are you doing? Dawdling with ball. There's Clark think- door. I think he's having to do that to try and get something going. Um, in, in in my opinion, I think Kitchen's trying to get things going because there's no not getting created. Yeah, but he's not good enough. All about he's not opinions, good. but I, I, I don't, well, I know, I know it is, but he's not he's mm. not good enough. Uh, you know, it, if he he made a run um, against Wickham, he made a run. Mm. And then he attempted to cross it. It just it went twenty rows back into Pontien Neil. I mean, I'm all for it. Make defenders making decent runs up mid up, up making to try and make stuff happen. But if you're not, but the, you've got to be good enough. There's got to be something at ending it. If he wins a free kick close to their penalty area or whatever, fair enough. But don't be dawdling on ball. Don't be dawdling. Make a pass. Be good in big. For me, he needs to practice his crossing. In in my opinion, and and then their third goal, Conor McCarthy. What are you doing? Just get it out. Get it. Make get it out for a throw. He loses ball. They go on and score from it. But you can see um, Jack Walton. Jack Walton's telling him to get it clear. Put it out. Don't don't don't. Dawdle with ball and think I can take on a Premier League player. I just get it out for a throw in. I, 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 it baffles me, Neil. That as as the, this Clark Adore as well. Yeah, he hadn't played for a for a bit, but you know you 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 you're so weak. The amount of challenges that we pulled out on was unreal. Hmm. It goes back to Wickham. We were crap against Wickham. Pulling out of tackles and stuff like that. There were Styles pulling out a few challenges, but he were on a yellow card, so fair enough. He don't want to get sent off. Um, but for me, I think going forward, we, we looked we looked all right going forward, but there's still no end product. And and this this is another thing that's winding me up. Where where's his transfers? Where's his players, Neil? Yeah, there's Derby that's had a, a a transfer window of a lifetime. You know, getting players in. There's, there's. I, I don't, I don't know what. Uh, go on. I'm ranting on here. Go on. You're right. <laughs> uh, my on. tech for uh, Leeds game is that I thought we we held us on for 15, 20 minutes. I agree. They, they scored that for score. I mean, it was a decent goal. But the frustrating thing about it for me is that there's a pattern happening now all the time. Is in is either wing back roll is getting too far forward and there's no cover. And when that's not happening, yeah. you're pulling Kitchen out to cover at left wing back or uh, McCarthy or Cundy uh, in Lee against uh, Wickham, uh, Derby, mm. Plymouth to get ragged out there, which is leaving Addison exposed. And again, you've got to look at body language. If, if you if you lose ball, like Clark would uh lacklustre, no commitment in what I could see anyway, in tackles. No. You're dawdling, but then if you do that too far up pitch, you, you're having kitchen men pulled out of position, or then they're going to cut inside and get the end product to goal, which is happening too often. So for me, I think wing back roles need to vastly uh, improve. I've, I've said since Britain went, we need a right wing back. Yeah, I think it's all documented that we need a striker. I think kitchen, what I seen in him, is trying to get things going, but agree on his crossing. But it's refreshing to see him trying to get things going. It is. But it what's is. frustrating for me is when you're seeing such as the attacking third, like Norwood or Cole, 
not running into space, creating spaces, but running, mm. but running towards a ball or for the ball rather than running into channels to create the ball. I think when, for me, Norwood didn't offer any real goal for it. I thought he was getting frustrated and complaining. But yeah. when Tedic came on, I thought him and Cole worked better. I think when Tedic came on, you could tell us from that bit of Premier League, uh, what can I say? Not experience, but Premier League way of thinking is that if a, if a position is not there for you, you run into it, run into mm. a space, take a man away from, create a space for Devante call or for a Thomas to push forward. I thought it looked livelier because Cole were trying to hold up and he won't gain no support. He were trying to win headers, he won't gain no support. Devante Leeds, Cole were our best player on Tuesday. Leeds, I got, well, I got Mads Anderson because I thought he were getting pulled about all over the back line, me, having to cover up for other people as well as getting for a fo- uh, goal. But Devante Cole were a close second because it, with him running, it were him what got his free kick. Mm. You know what I mean? Take it, trying to create spaces. And yeah, you know, Leeds, even for second, for second side uh, Leeds, they've still got some quality players and we're not taking out away from that. But the thing is, for me, it were a, a test of character and a test of player to see whereabouts we were. Obviously, we're not going to be up via a monster, but we want to be seen via competing. And for me, Norwood didn't really threaten him. I thought Leeds done a number on them. But mm-hmm. when Tedich came on, it sent to help call out a bit, free him up a bit more. Uh, yeah. I thought jo- young Jordan Helliwell, uh, right back, I thought he had a decent, safe-ish game. I, 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 think, we can let him, I, think, I think we can let him off. I think we can let him off. I thought he, he had was... a decent game. Yeah, I I th- it, In atmosphere, 35,000. I mean, it's probably the first time I've ever played in out like that, you know, a cauldron, because it were an atmosphere. You yeah, know, it was a great atmosphere. Going off. Um, and again, for me, I think he, he takes some, uh, you know, he didn't do it over elaborate, but he did the basics and he did it well. And I thought mm. there's a, a learning there to be had. Yeah. Um, I'd play him on b- Tuesday. Yeah. I mean, I'm going midfield. I'm looking at like Thomas Benson. For me, they are trying. But again, you look at the leads, what they are trying to do. They weren't daft. We're closing down quick. When they got it, they spread it out quick. So Benson, it, Benson were knackered, Neil. It was. But again, it was trying. And the thing is, is that it would have been nice for me to have rested. But again, you still want to give him a game. And I think we did in certain parts. Uh, to take away from it, me, I think there's a lot to take away from us in. We were competing there. Could have been a different story at 2 2, but just before half time, it might have been a different team talk. I'm not saying we'd have won it, but it might have, you know, given them something to think about. Uh, mm. One goal in it rather than, you know, ended up. I think when, when they scored for a goal, I think it were other way. But again, players you want to see still carry on until final whistle, which some did, some didn't. I think yeah. I did ratings and what I thought about Styles. And I think the best thing what can happen for Callum Styles at this moment in time is for window to hurry up and Shut. then he knows one way or other way it's going to go. Yeah. Either knuckles down because I think he's, and I'm not just a lot, I know a lot's been said about Callum Styles' body language in his head. He do not want to be. But I also look at the, his agent as well. It's not all about the player. Because if agents in his ear constant and he could be doing this, he could be moving here, he could be doing that. It, this is like going to be, his, his next move is going to probably define him for the next few seasons, wherever he goes. Mm. But in the same agent, respect... Agent, got, agents are toxic. Agents are toxic. But in the same that, respect, he's got to realise that he's a League One player. If he thought he were a Championship player or he's an Hungarian international, that's fine. You can think that. But in reality, you're the League One. And yeah. you need to, yeah, yeah, a good game against Bristol Rovers. But then again, you've got to have that consistency. You've got to be good. Not, I want to say all the time. It's impossible to be good at all the time. But you're out of a blip. But when you certain see traits in body languages in, like I said, tackles, not tracking back, tempo. And again, how much is his head being in a scrambled? It yeah. could be down to the player, it could be down to his agent. And for me, I think come the end of winter, he's either at Barnsley or he's gone away. If he's at Barnsley, I'd like to see him then, do you know what? Knuckle down, get on with it, and just do the play, what we know, what, what he possibly can be under what he did under Val, Val, Valor and Ishmael. I can't get his word out, man. Mm. Val Ishmael. There is a player there, but again, We've seen it's been it. in right mindset. Yeah, it's been in right mindset. I think that's the uh-uh. first thing as for us as fans. We know what he's capable of doing, and he could go that yeah. little not, bit more. But at minute, mm-hmm. he's going Bristol Rovers, and then he's going 
Wickham, yeah. and then it's going down, and then they'll go up, and then they'll go down. I want to see them go up and have that steady consistency, and we're not yeah. seeing it as his fans at the minute. No, two two year ago, I would have had Callum Styles on that penalty. No, no bounds. Yes, yeah. no yeah. bounds. Yeah, and I think that I'd, I'd have gone. Bit... He asked earlier on about penalty. I'd have gone with someone in form, so someone like a Benson, a Thomas all up in form. No, I would have game off the score sheet, probably give him yeah. a, a boost. I was surprised that he took up. What I was surprised that he missed, I don't know, to be fair. It, it oh, was a weird I emotion. Would. It, it was a weird emotion. And then after it, he picked up a silly booking because he could tell we were frustrated with his They were pissed off, Because when, yeah. when they come down, he, he get a silly booking away and it were a free kick. And do you know what was going to happen? It was just from then on in, it won't be the same player then. I thought the second one, like you said, I thought the second one looked, I mean, I saw it, whether it because it was close to us in the second half and it weren't first half, I don't know. But when I when I saw it, it looked stonewall. I mean, I, straight away when ref carried on, I looked at Duff and he was going absolutely ballistic on touchline. Yeah, he were. Yeah. Duff. And if, you know, it's hindsight's a great thing. So that's Leeds. Uh, Ipswich Town, I mean, <laughs> uh, obviously there's going to be a few changes, you know. I can all agree that Collins will probably come in for Walton unless something mm. drastic happens, but... What I've read and what I've heard, there's been no injuries out from that game. So, Ipswich Town, again, they're going pretty well. Uh, we all know about Chaplin, he's got a couple of goals this season. They're going to be up there, there about. And Ipswich Town, again, it's one of them grounds. It's always been, for me, it's been like a bog, boggy side of bogey team for us when we go to Portman Road. It's mm. always been one of them kind of grounds. How do you take it? Yeah, um, I think last time I went, I think it were two apiece. I think hmm. Jim O'Brien scored a few. We might, yeah, we might have a few won. seasons, then, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, it were a Friday night. Hmm. Um, I, can't, I, can't, I can't remember what score was. Um, not what last time I went to Ipswich. I'm, I think we're saying 2012, 2013. I think. Hmm. Um, but I, it's the, the, the flying, aren't they? Hmm. You know, the, 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 they're a good side. It's going to be. Good atmosphere, it always is at Portman Road, I think. Um, oh, God. I think it could be one of them games where Barnes could turn up, though, for that, and not be, turn up, but I mean, get a actually play because it just seems to be a side that do want to play football well, if, as well, don't if, they? If we do, Neil, I'll be pissed off because I, I, I want us to turn up every single game, and, and we hadn't mm. done for the last couple of weeks mm. since, since, that Bristol, since that Bristol Rovers win. Um, we need we need to get some points. We need to get we need to get some, especially going into next weekend. Uh, would, would it be a good? It'll be a massive pon, uh, positive if we can get some away from Ipswich. I can see uh, it, I can see it's getting a draw from there, mate. To be honest, well, draw. you're a brave man because going. Draw. Listen, I'd would I make changes? Absolutely. Hmm. Um, would, I... would you have similar side then to? Um, I'd have, I'd, do you know what? I'd have game. Sim- Sim- similar side no. to Wickham game. No, no, I, I'd have a similar side to Leeds game in my opinion. Would you? I would. We played a lot better than than at Leeds than we did at Wickham in my opinion. I, I would. Have... Would you have it back then? Or would you have it? I'd, I'd, well, I'd have Collins. I'd have Collins hmm. in goal. Hmm. I would have. Anderson, because he'll be he'll be high in confidence with that goal and, yeah. and, and his and his performance, as you that, said. Yeah. Yeah. Um I think you gotta keep I think you gotta keep Kitchen in. Mm. Um Kundi, I'd bring him I think I'd bring did he play? I don't think he played on Tuesday, did he, Kundi? No, we played Wickham, didn't he? Yeah. I, I, I I'd bring a, yeah, I'd bring McCarthy Kundi back in. instead, yeah. I bring Cundy back in, and it's ju- it's a battle between for me Hellowell and and uh, and Williams. Um, maybe get maybe get Hellowell in for a few games, see what you see what he can do. Mm-hmm. Um, then your middle three, or whatever it is. Uh, Who's at left wing back? Uh, well, I think you've got to go kitchen, haven't you? Um, oh, you have kitchen at left wing back. Either well, who else is there? I'd have Styles. Styles possibly. Styles or Kitchen, because that's where Kitchen's been playing for the last couple of weeks, isn't it? 
they've been uh, playing far, far too, yeah, but we've been yeah. in styles here since uh, Cadden got injured, didn't he? Mm, well, unless Nicky Cadden's fit. I think he if, picked up a knock. So I'm sure I said some, uh, read something that he'd had a bit of a setback, but Elik and... Yeah, Elik might be in contention in a week's time or something. I read somewhere. Well, go, well, somewhere if he, if he is, then good because we, I think we need him for Chef Wednesday. Sure, I've read that. Um, but I'd either Kitchen or Styles. Mm. Take your pick. Take your pick. Um, then you'd have Benson. Uh, Benson. Thomas. Uh, do, 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 do. I, do you know what? I'd give Aidan Marsh a, a few runs. In, in play, play him as a either a, 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 an attacking midfielder. Plays in an atta- attacking midfielder, something like that. Would you? Uh, I would. I would. Mm-hmm. Why not? Why not? I mean, what? What? How worse can he be? He brings that energy. He brings that little bit, bit of passion. You know, he gets stuck in. He don't. You know, he hardly makes any mistakes. Um, now, nah, Cole, I think he's, I think he starts. Um, and I'd like, and I agree with you with Tedich. Would I'd, I'd, I'd play him from a start because, or off the bench? Oh, now nah, would no would be up for it because it's his old team. Would no would be up for it? I think. Oh yeah, da, 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 da. I, I, I really want him to get scoring now. I I, I want him to turn up because he hadn't, he hadn't done out, and and it's the excuses of him not being fit enough for going. You know the the going over head now, in my opinion. I think we can't. We we've got to ignore the excuses of him not being fit enough or whatever. We've got to give him game time. He's got to start. He's got to start getting goals, and that's down to him. So, I I'd start Norwood and bring Tedich on, um, and and probably leave Aitchinson on bench. I mean, I feel sorry for for uh, for Aitchinson because his his efforts there, his efforts there. I think he just needs he just needs to get better on better. To be fair, finish him better. Just his efforts there, and I can't blame him for that. Um, but Ipswich will be be tough. Um, Chaplin will be up for it against his old club. Um, to be fair, I don't really know who else they've got. I think they've got. Um, I've still got Aiden. Is it Caden Jackson or Aiden Jackson who oh, used to play for us? Um, but I think, oh, I'll take a draw. I really would. I think I'd stick with see. I'd stick with side against Wick and me because there's been no injuries, and I'd be turning around and saying, right, go out here and prove me wrong. Because Duff came well, out and said, you know, certain body language and they won't address what we're what we're required to be, you know, in the bounds of shape. Uh so for me it to be so I think so to be Collins, Williams, get your call about Helliwell. Uh would you put him in or would you every month bench but use him for Lincoln game with that in mind? So Williams stroke Helliwell, then back three would be like Anderson, Kitchen. Kunde, left wing back of Styles. Because for me, it don't really cut it in midfield. It's a left wing back. Plus, if Nicky's not cutting not it anyway, to be fair, Neil. But, but the best I've seen him play is his left wing back role. So I'd say right left wing back role. I would in midfield then have Benson, Thomas, Luke Connell. The only change I possibly would what make for that point? attacking midfield role, if Thomas, if you want to give Thomas rest, I'd, I'd have Aitchison in, in, in that attacking midfield role because that's where he played it for his screen. I forgot about Luke O'Connell, to be fair. 
Out front, I'll go for Devante, Cole and Norwood. Just with Norwood against Ipswich. If he won't cut it mustard, though, I won't mess about and, you know, sub him off at half time me and bring Tedic on. Mm. Um, give him a good 45 minutes. Good 45 and then give, minutes. And, and then, then give him a 90. Have, I'd have then, sometimes I can do probably 20 minutes to go, whatever. Take call off. For Marsh's pace up front alongside Teddy's for knockdowns and that. And mm. I think that could work. Uh, but I think what Duff would be wanting is like it'd be like a reaction. Because he said it, he said it after the game. Body language on some of the players weren't acceptable. So he openly come out and said it. And I'm thinking if if he wants to see a reaction on players, this is your time you're in league now. You're not in cups, you're not this is disrespect playing Bristol Rovers or Cheltenham and that. You're away at switch. I want to see mm. a performance. Yeah. And if I don't get it from that, then right, Mr. York should have coming up in the league. <laughs> he's playing for your positions basically. Yeah. Plus the potentially whatever transfers come in, whatever. But I'm just concentrating on reviews at the minute. I'm not looking at that. When do you know? Let me ask you a question. Um when when do you start? I'm which I'm not, by the way. I'm not at all because I think he needs a good couple of years when do you start gaining on at manager when do you start gaining on his back with, with his choices on players I, I think for me you've got to like for me you've got to give him at least three transfer windows three transfer windows so this summer Winter. January next summer and then have a look up until say halfway through next season and then you can roughly gauge it because this season for me is all about the manager and his backroom staff, because he's got in his backroom staff and mm-hmm. the academy staff, he's got all, all the, the cogs are in place. It's a matter of game, the players in the, the fits. Because he's still probably finding out about some of these players, to be fair. Yeah. And it's been well documented that there's, I mean, it, it, it came out today, didn't they? You know, Anderson's had a good game and this over, he's all impressing and Anderson's on radar of several clubs. You're going to get that. But for me, until you get situations sorted out, we're still playing catch up for me from last season. On situation, what we've got, I can't even mention Isaac and OBLA to people who are just carrying and stealing a wage at minute. So, until we get the them sorted out and like the manager or coach, whatever you want to call him, get him right. This is your time now. He's had a full season. And um, set for instance, if Crystal Ball's out, we've had a full season and we've finished 12th, right? What we're going to work with, right? Address it, get what we need in, blah blah blah. If when we get to November, December next season and we're 16th, 17th, it's like, well, we're coming into second season and we're finishing even less. Then it's like, we're not going forward, we're going backwards. You know what I mean? But mm. if this season we finish saying top 10, I think he'll have done well. Knocking on door at playoffs, I think he'll have done well with what? You know, we need a striker. We've been wanting a striker for how long? It's always been documented. We always seem to, everyone, who we think we've got, and he either goes because we can't keep hold or we sell for money and it's money's more important than hotels. I get we're a selling club, I get that. But when you've got to get best for all parties, best price for a player in current market, every replacement lined up because now people know that we need a striker. There'll be other clubs out there. You know, if, if I'm not you know, I'm not on Cloud Cuckoo Land, if Slobber and Tedich was scoring you know, 20 odd goals a season, he wants to come to Barnsley. It doesn't matter how well the contacts we've got, he'll have gone to a championship club knocking on the door at playoffs. We're, we're not, not about luxury. We've got to go and get a player. If we went to, if we go for a loan player from a Premier League club, we're going to be dependent and relying on someone, a young kid coming through like an Ashley Fletcher and doing a job for us. Now, now we you're got saying, that luxury. You're saying youth now. Nah. We haven't got that luxury. That. We haven't got that luxury. No. But, we're not going to go to if we go for a if we go and loan a Premier League player, we're not going to get someone who's like 25, 26, a striker. No, no. way we're going to get out like that. But then we've got but, to look down the leagues and see such so as your Cole Stocktons, your Alfie May, you, you, you know, your players like that who might be top goal scorers for the last couple of seasons in League Two. Yeah, it's League Two, but he knows what it takes, he knows where it goal is. It might not be a fashionable name, but again. Price reflects that. Pick him up for two, three, four, five hundred grand. And he's your player for whatever you need him for. This is another thing as well. <clears throat> Spend, spending money, balancing books and all this crap. Mm-hmm. I don't agree with it, Neil. 
I think it what, needs to be done though, but it I needs know, to be done I, responsibly. I, I know it needs to be done. I'm not saying buy million pounds worth of players. I'm not. I'm not. Mm. But what's wrong with what's wrong with going? What's wrong with spending? I don't know. Two and a half million. Two and a half million on on what? Five, six players. Going. But we've into, only we've only cut back, or what it's said to believe, half of what we've as deficits come. Yeah, but the, I I get that. But what's wrong with going into it red a little bit? Yeah, we've lost we've lost a bit we've lost a bit of money by getting relegated. But when you spend in when you spend when you spend a little bit more going into it red a little bit more. When you're spending players, when you're spending quality pl- on quality players, it's quality over quantity for me. That's that success that you'll probably get with spending that extra little bit of money on on quality. That success will get your books back back to balance. It'll get you back on even terms. Probably it's a big gamble, though, isn't it? In a club it like is a bit, us. It's, well, I think it's I think it's about time we grow a pair of bollocks and and spend and you know and take that risk. Really? I think so. You would be with taking a risk and a gamble. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what that's what football's all about. You know, Man City took I, I, listen I will probably get slammed but we're not Man City. But Man City took, took a gamble 10 15 years ago. Now look at them. You know you got You've got to take into account of our bigger fan base as well, and it look. I mean, yeah, you look true. at like your Sheffield Wenders and your Derby Counties, your Man Cities. It's a bigger catchment area, a bigger fan base. You look at Newcastle United when they were down there as well, bigger yeah. fan base, a bigger pull. Yeah, but I take a gam. I would. <laughs> I would. Mm, surprise. I, I would. I, I'm not one of these. Uh, by, you know, I, listen. We under Valerian Ishmael, we we were. Probably one of the best teams I've ever seen, but we didn't really. Did we spend a lot? We, I don't. I don't. I can't remember if we spent spent a lot of money. To be fair, but I, I would take a. I would. I would take a gamble. Spend two and a half million, two and a half million on five or six players. I, it might be too late now because it shuts in what. Six I days, don't think we'll. Really, I don't think we'll even spend a million. Let alone two and a half million. Well, there you go. We've left it till that's because we've left it too late, Neil. We've fanned him out. I don't think no. I don't. I don't think it is. I, I think that it, even right from the beginning, transfer window, won't have spent a million quid. But what have we spent? We spent no, have we? No. And I think that is, and that's an absolute disgrace, in my opinion. Why is that? I mean, yeah. Listen. So that, we picked up. Look. So we picked up then. Luke O'Connell on a free agent who's turned out to be a good, decent player. We've got yeah. Robbie Cundy who wanted to come to Barnsley and he were out of contract. We've got Conor McCarthy who wanted to play football at Barnsley out of contract. So there is players out there. We've got Norwood out there and a one, you know, one do you think Con- Do you think Conor McCarthy is good enough? He can with be. What you've seen, what, with what you've seen. Yeah, he can be. Good time. So if you compare Conor McCarthy to Jasper Moonman, Oh, it's it's head and shoulders. Well, I t- mm, with what I've seen at minute, with what I've seen, there's. Well, not... you've got to appreciate, boy, Dale, is that they're still learning, coming into a side oh, what absolutely. struggled and got us relegated, and we end up on his ass, aren't we? So it's it, this is a complete rebuild job, this, and I think there's a lot of fans out there wanting to be in Championship next year and want to take too much of a bigger risk of gamble rather than look at longer term picture, which I think Duff will be under a three year contract. Which I think, mm. when you look on on his record, is at two uh, clubs, Burnley and Cheltenham. So he's not one of these. What's going to be? Ah, you know what? I'm going to go for open stakes. I've I think said he's to you. To... I've said to you many, many a time. I've said to you many, many, many a time. This season, it's just going to be. I, I predicted with you tenth, possibly fifteenth upwards. In my in. That's what I'm gonna go with because we, we we're not good enough. We're not good enough now. We're not. It's been proven that we're not good enough because we're not con- we're not even competing with Wickham. I mean, Wickham are a good side. You can't take that away from them. They're in playoffs, so so True. again, you, you, 
see, this is what gets me is that a lot we're, we're coming to end of August and it's like, oh, we need this, we're not going to go up and this and over. And it's like, we need to be in championship and there's still plenty of games to play for. There and is. for me, until we get, oh, I said we, it's Duff in it. Until Duff gets the players or play, you know, the style, whatever he wants to do. You know what I mean? So again, I think we, we it's gauging on all we've played and we games we've lost. Uh, lost at Plymouth, Derby, and Wickham. Wickham. But we've won it. Bristol Rovers. Bristol Rovers and Cheltenham. So if if you take that in comparison, then we're looking at about probably ten middle table, uh, ten middle place and table. But there's still plenty to ever go. There's still plenty to ever gauge it on. I mean, Ipswich Town, Lincoln think, thing, then we've got Sheffield Wednesday. But then when you look after that, you've got like Port Vales, Cambridges and we've other got, teams. Well, we've got, we've, we've got Portsmouth like first. Portsmouth, yeah. Portsmouth for Tom. So, again... We've had, we've, I agree. We've, we've, we've had a tough start. We've had a really tough start to the oh, season. Yeah. A really tough start. I mean, Plymouth... I think all the teams that were all the teams from. I mean, I'm going into into October. I'm no disrespect to them, but you're looking at Fleetwood, Exeter, uh, Bolton, Morecambe, Forest Green, Shrewsbury Town. <laughs> if we'd have got some of them chucked in middle, at, oh, well, set middle, but up at top after, like, say, on Bopper, uh, Ipswich away, and then Sheffield Wednesday away, and Portsmouth for Tom. If you'd like to say Ipswich away, but then you've got Fleetwood at Tom or an extra Tom, it's a bit, yeah. I get where mm. you're coming from with that, like, the kind of teams we've been playing was well established and we know we're, fate, they've been fighting to get out for a few seasons and all when you look but then three beer Ipswich, Chef Wednesday and Portsmouth Alan we need, been fighting we need a out. win we need a win against one of the big clubs in this league we, we do we, what between Bristol them Rover, three in, Bristol, Ro- I, Bristol Rovers and, and Cheltenham no disrespect, but they weren't they weren't they weren't good well, at all. Then three I've read out of here, it's switch. I, I can go with a draw via Wednesday. Draw via. It's Derby. <laughs> Portsmouth, uh, I'd be looking for an home in via at Portsmouth. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So Yeah. So what 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 can we say what say? I'd say, say be looking for five, uh, four say five points. points. Five points. Hmm. Uh, five points. Because next week's a whatever. Derby game, form goes out at window type of thing, but I I want to see at least a draw tomorrow. I do. Hmm. I, I think. Hmm. I, I think it's doable. Uh, to be fair, I think it is it, doable. It, I, I think a loss will be devastating. A, again, another massive blow. But yeah, we, we're away from home. It's harder away from home, but we need to get that away form going because we, mm-hmm. we haven't done out yet away from home because we've got two uh, two more away games coming up Ipswich and Wednesday mm. I think if I to take the work ethic from the Middlesbrough game to Ipswich I, I don't think we'll be a million miles off and they've made some changes on that um, I mean as Echo start to that but I, I can see Ipswich being closer than what a lot of people think because yeah, they concede goals as well, Ipswich as well. They, you know, they had clean sheet, you know, or many clean sheets. But again, mm. we've had pretty decent clean sheets up until, obviously, the Wiccan game. And again, a knocking confidence is probably a kick up ass that a few players have wanted from manager and Patterson and Devaney, and say, "Well, this is unacceptable. Reset. We move on from there." And is it a case of we're now? Such as like what you said earlier, Jordan there will uh, knocking on door. You've got Ackroyd, you've got Marsh, you've got Wolf. We haven't even mentioned Wolf. <laughs> oh. Well, Matty, knocking on door. Matty Wolf in... weren't even in game on Tuesday. I didn't even uh, for me coming too late. He coming too late when he got subbed on for me anyway because he came on. Um, I think it was just uh, freshening up and just getting a bit of fitness match, match fitness match out. So by the time he come on, the same with Luke O'Connell when he came on and all. Yeah, the I, only I like one who I really noticed was uh, Tedich. I, I just could tell straight away with Tedich, he was different up front who were trying to create and run. Yeah. So we need, we need goals. We need goals up front, and I think that. Do you think that we'll get a sign in before, let's say, Tuesday? I, no, I said it before. I can see it going to last 
last day of the season, to be fair, if I'm being honest, which I think is Thursday, I believe. Next Thursday, isn't it? Thursday. So I can see it going to, uh, uh, to Wyoming. I can. It should be interesting because we'll have played Lincoln on Tuesday. So I, I don't think we need I don't think we can afford any more youngsters in in my opinion. I think we need to go to like like you said, lower league clubs, possibly league I League Two, low possibly League One. Uh Scotland possibly. I think bringing youngins in now, I think it, it's not it's not it's not really exciting bringing youngins in. I think we need that proven player who who can actually turn heads and and say, "Oh, hang on, hey, up here, we've got a player on his hands here." I think because I I, I want to I I don't want us to struggle. Do I think we'll struggle? No, but when it, if we're still getting if we're still not scoring and it's the ball games and stuff like that, then I can see us, you know, I, I can see us dropping below 15th, which for me isn't, isn't good enough. I know it's a rebuild job, um, but a rebuild a re, for me, I think us as a club, I think we need to be, we need to be pushing 10th upwards, in my opinion. And I think anything lower, it'd, it'd be a little bit devastating for me. But we move, we go on tomorrow. There's, I think there's a, there's a good, decent following in there tomorrow. I think mm. there's about 700 plus. Yeah, because it's about which, 20, 20 pounds ticket on there. Yeah. And then, you know, Wednesdays is a decent price, 26 quid. That's not bad. It's, it's 10 pound, 10 pound cheaper than what it normally is. Mm. Possibly even fourteen pound cheaper than what it normally is. Um, so I think we'll bring a good following there as well. It will. It will great to see. You know, I weren't expecting a lot of fans this season going to away games. I, I weren't I, because of how of how atrocious we were last season. And I think bringing Michael Duff in, um, I. I I hope to God that he's bringing in his own players. I I, I hope to mm. God he is. I think he is. Um, it's nice to see players, some players, wanting to fight for a shirt and wanting to fight for the place in the team. It's nice to see. It's nice to have an atmosphere back at Oakwell again. Away games. You know, we were... a as a fan base on Tuesday, we were uh, unbelievable. You know, I couldn't move me on Tuesday on, on where I was sat. I couldn't move. I, I, I couldn't hardly breathe. You might move, hmm. you know, and it's, it's nice to see. Um, I, I love, I love away days and hopefully tomorrow, you know, them players don't let us down because, we need we need to get that away form going and and I hope it starts tomorrow we a win. How I don't care how how we get it. Um, penalty coming off at head. I don't care own goal. I don't care as long as we get that away form going. I think it's it's about time we you know we make a name for us sends and met league turn their heads and say oh Barnes is you know they're getting going and. I hope it starts tomorrow. I really do. Ipswich Town versus Barnsley. Have your say in the comments below. Um, let us know your thoughts on a uh, team lineup for score, score prediction. Looking for a performance. You're going down, safe journey. Because uh, it's, it's, it's a bit of a trek. Uh, we appreciate that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Ipswich Town versus Barnsley. Have your say in the comments below. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. One thing left to say you Reds. Thank you.